Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Many of you reported feeling the magnitude 2.2 earthquake they had in North Bath, Maine. Scientists believe that the earthquakes in Maine are caused by the movement of the North American plate. As there is no tectonic boundary you have in Maine like you do have on the west coast of the United States. And the state is riddled with ancient fault lines. Here's some of the felt reports. Um, we have 15 from here, 2 from there, 11 from there, and 1 read there from there. Yeah. Using Google Earth, let's zoom in to see the location of this area. This earthquake was shallow. It was 5 kilometers in depth or about 3 miles um, below sea level. One paper stated that since 1997, all the way up until 2010, only 50 earthquakes had occurred in the state. Now it's been 10 years since then. In 2006, Maine had a magnitude 4.2. And in uh, 1904, there was a magnitude 5. And in 1988, there was also a magnitude 4. So earthquakes are pretty rare. There was only one felt report on EMSC. Uh, this person, 10 kilometers south from where it occurred, said that they heard it, not just felt it, but heard it too. This could be caused by glacial rebound. There was uh, another earthquake recently in this location, and that was in um, March of this year on the 15th. Now, there hasn't been a lot of research done about why they do have earthquakes because they are so rare there in Maine. But, you know, up along um, the system between Canada and the Great Lakes, they do have a fault line, an ancient fault line that goes through there, and I've covered that too. There, maybe you can see it a little bit better. And we'll pull it out. You know, there is that ancient rift that goes up through here up around uh, Lake Michigan and comes down and goes all the way down to the New Madrid fault zone. But yeah, this is rare and more likely it's because of the movement of the North American plate slowly moving uh, southwest. Now the St. Lawrence Rift System, they believe that's been reactivated lately. It's a seismically active zone. Uh, paralleling the St. Lawrence River. The Rissett system trends northeast and southwest and forms a half graben that links the Ottawa and, and Saginaw Garbins. Uh, half Garbins are where you have a area of the fault zone which only one side moves up compared to the other side that moves down. And if you want to read more about that, you can go to Wikipedia and look up the St. Lawrence Rift System. Um, yeah, very well could be a part of that because, like I said, the North American plate has been showing a lot of activity of late, hasn't it? So, did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? What did it sound like? Um, please put your information down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.